Doug and in this video we will be looking at proof. So proof is a logical argument which proves that something is either true or false and there are three main ways that you can go about this. Firstly there is direct proof, secondly there is proof by counterexample and thirdly there is proof by exhaustion. Now normally proof by exhaustion and direct proof uh, proof that something is true, whereas proof by counterexample always states that something is incorrect. What we need to talk about is direct proof. And the main two things we need to know are odd number and even number because these normally do come up in a question. And an even number can be expressed as 2n, whereas an odd number can be expressed as 2n minus 1. Now there are infinite number of questions they can ask you, but an example I've got here is proof that the product of two consecutive odd numbers is always an odd number. So in, to answer this, we need to first of all get two consecutive odd numbers. And the first one is going to be 2n minus 1. And put that in brackets because the product means we're going to times it. So the next one will be 2n minus 3. So this means that whatever way you've learned, you may have learned foil, which is like this, 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 and this. And then that will go to 4n squared minus 2n minus 6n plus 3, because minus 1 minus 3 is always going to be plus 3. Now this can then be simplified to make 4n squared minus 8n plus 3. Now I'm going to simplify this even more to make it clear so we can already kind of tell that it's going to be an odd number there because of this 3. However, I'm going to make it even clearer to the examiner because that is what they want. And I'm going to take this out and factorize it a little bit more. So I'm going to take 4 out of it. And I'm going to put n squared minus 2n plus 3. And I could even make it clearer by putting taking 4n out and making that n minus 2 plus 3. And because this one here is odd, that bit there is odd, but this bit here is all even. You can say an even plus an odd, even plus odd is always equal to, which you do, odd. And that there is your proof for a direct proof. To talk about is proof by counterexample. And uh, as I've written in front of you, Essentially, you have to prove that the statement is wrong by giving an example that disproves the statement. So a very generic question that I've put is the sum of two prime numbers is always even. Now at first, this may look like this is true because if you think about many prime numbers like 5 and 7, they equal 12. This is normally even. However, you have to understand that 2 is a prime number. And now this is essentially your answer. Now I will write PM for quickness. Now um, this means that if I do 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, 5 is odd. Now that means that the statement is not true because I have clearly shown just one example which has disproved the statement and that's all you need for a proof by counter example type of proof is proof by exhaustion and this is essentially proving that everything in the range is true. So a question I've got here is prove by exhaustion that a times 6 is not divisible um, by 5 when a is between 1 and 4. 
Now this could also be written 1 and 4 could also be written as 1 equal a equal 4 which is essentially a is greater or equal to 1 but um, a is also greater or um, so equal or less than 4 so watch out for that as well but essentially all I have to do here is put the values in so 1 times 6 is equal to 6 that is clearly not divisible by 4 2 times 6 is equal to 12 and that is not divisible by 5 so I said 4 for the last one these are all divisible by 5 3 times 6 is equal to 18 that's not divisible by 5 4 times 6 is equal to 24 and that is not divisible by 5 now this is all you have to prove because if you went to 5 times 6 that obviously would be divisible by 5 but this is the range that you're working with so that means that this statement is true and you have proved the statement by exhaustion so thank you for watching this video i hope you found it useful and i'll see you soon bye